a rare foray into my home village of Markfield today <clears throat> with a, a young couple who've been coming to their classes for a while with their West Highland White Terrier called Winston and been making super progress but then their life has, has changed very recently in the most dramatic way possible they had a baby a beautiful baby girl now since the baby came along there's been a marked change in Winston's behaviour towards the baby and towards themselves to the point where he was <coughs> snapping and snarling and was seriously worrying the new parents to the point where getting rid of him was a consideration. I had a chat to them at the class about the reasons why which boils down to, well, there's a, a, a number of factors. You can imagine how differently you all, you know, we all behave with a new baby in the house. Things are never the same again. Ever. So it's no surprise then that Winston becomes confused and uncertain of his whole environment because it's changed so much. People are tired, not get, getting enough sleep. Hormonal, which makes a massive difference to how you smell, how you behave, how you react to things, all of which confuses a dog that's had you to himself for a long time and knows our own behaviours better than we do sometimes. So to bring a baby into that mix and create that level of stress, they were getting seriously worried about it. And obviously all the family were as well. They've had friends over with babies and he's behaved the same way. So clearly it was, a, it was becoming an associated behaviour. They're the, obviously the very worst sort. So we had a chat at class and they went home with enthusiasm that they could resolve the issue. <clears throat> that turned out not to be the case, so they took my advice and had an hour's home visit, which I've just finished. And two big issues around young children are, or two or three big issues, Obviously, is what the how the dog thinks it should behave around the baby, and how the baby thinks it should behave around the dog, and also food. So, just to really emphasise the point with Winston, we had biscuits. The baby had a biscuit. We had a pot of biscuits on the floor, and we had Winston on a retractable lead. Any attempt to go towards food or baby was just interrupted gently with the, the lead, which went immediately slack. He then relaxed and got praised for it. So by doing that, every time he asked the question, can I go forward? The answer was a, a, a definite no, but a non-verbal no. Then when he changed his mind, he was praised. He was very quickly relaxing, lying down. And at one point, the baby even bumped into his nose with her hand. Not a problem. She then crawled towards him as if to grab, then I just moved him away. Which shows him that he doesn't have to lie there and try and deal with that himself. Major part of his expectation, that is. And the owners not only were delighted to see this relaxation, but were amazed. Because normally when visitors come to the house, he can be a little bit insistent that they give him attention to the point of getting quite snotty. So they were also amazed at how I could stroke him, relax him down, how he was taking my contact, stroking his head, which is very difficult with Winston, and he was doing really, really well. So they now <clears throat> have seen what their dog can do. They've seen how to do it. I've handed the lead straight to them now and said, right, you carry this on immediately. So the associated behaviour that I've created is transferred to you. So he then continues that expectation. He Now, this is how he behaves for you around the baby. It's been a very, very good hour. Very good. And they've hopefully now got a better idea of how to look after Winston and the baby and teach them how to behave together. And that is what it's all about.